Hello, if anybody's there. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. I'm eating my porridge for the second day in a run. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. This lovely porridge has got blueberries in it. <laughs> if anybody's there. If anybody's there. And Sammy's being cute. And I've got a nice cup of coffee. I've got a nice cup of coffee. Is anybody there? Oh, hello, anybody? Is anybody there? Nice blueberries. Good morning, Pinky. Goldilocks. <laughs> Good one, Pinky. <laughs> Golden. Look, but who's the three birds? Who's the three birds? <laughs> Pinky. <laughs> Are you one of the three birds? <laughs> <laughs> right, there's you. I suppose I should count Richard as one, although he has been mistaken for a bird before. So I'll count Richard as one. And Sammy, Sammy can be baby bird. <laughs> you okay, Pinky? I'm sorry I lost you yesterday. <laughs> yeah, Sammy's baby bird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you like that, don't you, Sammy? <laughs> oh, thank you, King Rhino. No, it wasn't. Uh, my connection went, for some reason, my connection went, um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was kind of like telling me maybe I should stop in its own way. <laughs> Maybe you should stop. So, um, oh, hey, up. Sammy's going to share my porridge with me. <laughs> Not that I've had any yet. Oh, she's changed her mind. Sammy's changed her mind. <laughs> oh, thank you, Troy. Welcome. So I've got some nice blueberries in my porridge. Porridge. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, it wasn't that pinky. I, I, the dis the connection just disconnected for for some reason, you know, and I I don't know. I don't know why. Hey, you really seen these grey ears now? They are coming to light. <laughs> uh, from the north of England. Um. My accent, the north of England. Jody, welcome. Hello. Are you okay? So I've got some porridge with blueberries in it. <clears throat> and Pinky's just identified herself as being a, a, one of the three birds. <laughs> <coughs> clean my throat then because it was going all <coughs> crackly <laughs> and I've still not took a bite yet <laughs> I've still not took a bite oh. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to have to be sort of can I say man it up I'm going to have to say say man it up because because um, with this me going to the doctors yesterday and I really, really have to watch what I eat. So porridge is going to be, be a big, big part of it. 
porridge so part of my diet so I, I know usually I can't have the same breakfast every day I just can't <laughs> I just can't eat the same breakfast every day and uh, so I'm struggling even to take a bite of this <laughs> I really really am <laughs> But um, I suppose in, in his own way, God is looking after me. Do I know how to make porridge pr properly? Yes, I do, Colin, but I'm a bit lazy to do it. <laughs> it's, um, it's in a saucepan. I know it's in a saucepan and you have to just mix it up with milk or water. Uh, in a saucepan so it goes really really nice and to to the consistency you like though um but i just whack it in the microwave for, for just over a minute and it does it well you know i did it for two minutes in the microwave hello ari um i do it usually for two minutes in the microwave but yesterday it was bubbling to such an extent that i had to stop it and luckily it didn't overflow <laughs> luckily <laughs> so, oh i don't know i've still yet to take a bite <laughs> i'm dreading taking a bite so yeah i do know how to make porridge properly um if there wasn't only me i'd do it proper in a saucepan but it's only me it's only me unfortunately who'll, who'll have it and porridge is 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 one of the healthiest breakfasts you can have because it can look it does lower your cholesterol that's why i have to have it because my low my cholesterol is a bit high Ooh. Oh, thank you, Colin. Celtic sea salt. Oh, never heard of that. Celtic sea salt. Sounds really, really interesting. Hmm. No, I'll not. Okay, Colin, I pinky swear. I will never do porridge in the microwave again. I pinky swear, okay, if it does destroy the goodness. Although it does give you um, microwave as an alternative to cooking it in a saucepan. It does. Um, water and one cup of milk. Yeah, I <laughs> pinky swear. Yeah, good one, that pinky. <laughs> But I will try it. Celtic sea salt. I think I've got some actually, Colin. Because we always buy sea salt. Always instead of proper salt. I still get to take this bite and I can't. <laughs> But you, but the other day at the doctor's, it's like a real big, um, a big need now to really look after myself. We've going to the doctor's yesterday. I know people shun it off, don't bother, but um, I mean, I'm forty now, so the older you get, the more it's harder to control sort of your your waistline. And things like that. So I, I do have to tone it down. I really, really do somehow. I mean, I love my salads. Luckily, I love salad. Um, it's just, I think my guilty things is probably the um, carbohydrates. The complex carbs, as they say. Because complex carbs, uh, they do turn into sugar. So it's... Yeah, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I am 40. I turned 40 the other day. 
Oh, Himalayan sea salt is good too. Oh, so I'm, I'm bearing all this in mind. I'm welcoming any tips what you have. Any tips whatsoever. But I don't usually have the same breakfast every day. And this is my second day eating porridge. And I'm like, <laughs> do we have to do this? Well, I do. I have to think of my health. I have to think of my well-being. Um, and I, I have to get better. Um, that's what the doctor said. Well, the nurse said who I saw. The nurse said, I'm, I'm overweight. I need to look after myself. I need to look after my diet. My cholesterol's high. I'm pre-diabetic. <laughs> I'm pre-diabetic, um, which is a worry because I don't want to be diabetic. But she was asking me, do you have sugary dr uh, fizzy drinks? No, I really do. And that's, honestly, I really have sugary drinks and fizzy drinks. I really have those. Um, do, um, what, what was the other question she asked me? Um, what did she ask me? But I, I said, I'll, it's the carbohydrates, it's the, it's the, Complex curbs. The only guilty things I have, what I have probably too much of, is crisp. I'll admit it. I eat loads of crisp. Can't help it. I love the crunch of a crisp. I love, I love crisp. But I also, in the complex curbs, I love bread. Bread is evil. It really, really is. Especially when you get like a, a thick bread, a thick toasty white bread. It's evil. And them hedgehog breads. I love bread. So I'm trying to think, what am I going to do for these lunches? What am I going to do um, to tackle this problem I have? No. No, Pinky. Butter was mentioned. Butter's bad. Too much butter is bad. <laughs> Terry, <laughs> eat and be merry as you can. I wish I could. I wish I could, but I've had a warning. I've had a warning for the second year running. I'm a <laughs> and I'm... <laughs> and I don't usually have the same breakfast every day. I don't. Yeah, wraps are healthier. <laughs> but it's just <laughs> it's just not the same though as a proper butter. I mean you, you know how I love that turkey so much. I love that turkey so much, that's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> because I love it on a sandwich. You know the infamous chick infamous chickens chicken shop. <laughs> I love it on a sandwich. Hello there. Hello, Rory. Oh, thank you. Not, not the swing set. I hope I've said your name right. I really, really do. God bless. Well, I'm going to need some really big help to tackle this problem of me being diagnosed with pre-diabetes. I'm really, really going to need some love at the moment. I need some love like I never needed love before. <laughs> no, the porridge is for breakfast. It is for Let's take a bite. Hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> Although I've had it for how many minutes now? I've had it for how many minutes? <laughs> but I've got a nice little blueberry in the in the centre there. So it should sweeten the pot, shouldn't it? Right, here we go. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. 
Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> We're not too bad. Here, here we go. Right, I know your eggs are on. I know your eggs are on, so I'm gonna go and sort your eggs out. Okay. I'll I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, don't go away if you won't. If you won't. <laughs> if you won't. I'm telling everybody about my pre-diabetes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Probably what I go on with that and that person. Uh, Oh, it's freezing. Just been to the gym. Giving a bit of aggression to the weights. Not as strong as I used to be, but I'm stronger than your average bear. I'm going to let those eggs cool for a split second while I eat my porridge <laughs> because my porridge is almost cold <laughs> because I was very hesitant in taking that first bite. <laughs> oh, Iris says hi to you. Oh, they're all saying hi to you. Hi. <laughs> That's really, really nice and kind, everybody. Yeah, we need some love at the moment, don't we? We need some love like we've never needed love before. I mean, yeah, but just because I've been diagnosed with pre-diabetes, it doesn't mean that you are. No, no, it doesn't. I'm just saying I've got everything else, haven't I? Yeah, you've got everything else, poor thing. Poor thing, he's got everything giving, under the I've sun. I've been giving everything else to go through. I know. Poor thing. <laughs> Funny, Richard should say stronger than the average bear. <laughs> he does, yeah. <laughs> exactly, because I was saying about my porridge and Pinky said, um, go, call me Goldilocks when... Hey, Mum, Richard. <laughs> 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 yeah, we've only just said Richard's power. <laughs> Dear me. Who didn't love that story growing up about Goldilocks and the three birds? <laughs> And Sammy's baby burr, Richard. What's that? Sammy's baby burr. Oh. <laughs> oh, Sammy. Don't want your porridge. Anyway, someone's told me uh, how to eat por make por porridge properly. So with pinky word to that person, I shall start making porridge properly. Have you not been making it properly? No, they said going in the microwave. Making porridge in the microwave is, is bad because it destroys all the goodness. It probably does. All the nutrients. Before your time. <laughs> what are you cooking my eggs in? I've done them in a saucepan. Never in the microwave. Never in the microwave. Thank you, baby. Neither do I, neither do I really, Pinky. Only when I'm in a fit of rage. <laughs> Only when I'm in a fit of rage do I ever swear properly. Do 
So my lovely, lovely porridge is 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 starting so to go down. How was you? How was my getting up this morning? For you. Well, you did it, didn't you? Yeah. You didn't have to get up at all. Yeah, but I did. You didn't. I, I was almost gonna call my dad and get back to bed. <laughs> Well, it's more convincing when I says pinky swear, isn't it? Come on, it's more convincing. And my coffee's going cold again. Do you know, I, it, it's freezing here in England at the moment. It's so, so cold. Um, do you want your coffee heated? I've been there for you. No, thank you. I'll, I'll grin and burr it. But it is good to see everybody this morning. It is. It is, and I'm I'm trying my best to enjoy this porridge. I really am. Are you still there, Rare? I'm seeing how you are today. Still the today, Ari. <laughs> you are go, still the. I'm good. gonna go swimming for for uh, ten o'clock in the morning. Ooh, swimming, swimming with the women. Michelle, after, welcome. After that, I'll do my uh, little. Oh, she you're sitting on. Whoops, my bad. Sitting on Richard's blanket. Oh, there we go. And there's your blog. Oh, well, I'm not missing out. Um, today I'm just, I am going to have my spaghetti bolognese and my garlic bread. So I'm I'm gonna make Fridays as my treat night, my personal treat night. That's what I'm gonna do from now on. Fridays is my personal treat night, and if I can't do a Friday, it'll have to be a Saturday. Oh, Michelle, uh, pottery making breakfast, having a bacon and tomato sandwich. Mmm. Listening to chat will contribute where I can. You're late, you're late eating this morning. Well, that sounds a fabulous breakfast, that, Michelle. But I have to cut the bacon down a little bit. I have got some left over in a packet, what I probably will have to use, use up. But after that, I'll have to really, really um, watch it because um, bacon's probably full of cholesterol. <laughs> um, as my cholesterol's quite high as well as everything else um what i've been diagnosed with so i have you to i just have to be careful. Bacon, no really. i'm not giving hey i'm not giving it up yes you uh, <laughs> cut down on everything i just have to cut down things. yeah I know who doesn't like a bacon sandwich though. I love a bacon sandwich, especially when it's dead dead crispy and the rind's dead dead crispy. Bacon butty. A bacon butty, yeah. A bacon butt butt. It gets my mouth watering, Pinky. That's the problem. That's the problem. It gets my mouth watering just thinking about it. Oh, it's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. Hello, Mark. <laughs> Were you laughing at Pinky the fact that I, I um, I'm going a bit <laughs> psycho, psycho on the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> you 
You put your bananas in the... No, just blueberries. Just do the banana. I know, but I, I've got to limit myself to how much fruit I eat. Because fruit's sugar as well, even though it's a natural sugar. That's what she said. Have you been eating loads of fruit? And I said, no. She thought I could have been eating too much fruit. So we have to limit the tomatoes as well. Because tomatoes, even though I like them with a salad, they are still a fruit. Tomatoes. Oh no, you've just thrust a bacon muffin down. Oh, is it a Mac muffin, that? <laughs> I, I do like a, a Mac muffin, I must admit, from McDonald's. Not had a McDonald's breakfast in years. And you usually get like a Mac muffin and a, um, I usually like a side of um, a hash brown as well. You don't like eating, Mark? Not heard someone say that in a long time, they don't like eating. <laughs> yeah, I love a McDonald's one, Mara, I must say. Actually, no, Colin, it's my husband. It's my lovely husband. Is that my dad? Colin's just said. Oh, <laughs> poor Richard. <laughs> oh, what are you saying? Someone asked, Are you my dad? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but <laughs> I'm so sorry, honey. Are you a dad? <laughs> Someone that's just asked, are you my dad? <laughs> Poor Richard. <laughs> you wouldn't say He's that not a happy him. bird now. <laughs> He's thinking me for my dad. <laughs> he wouldn't say that to my face, though. <laughs> Do you know, that's going to make me laugh all day, Colin. So I thank you. <laughs> Watch out behind your back because uh, I see you, Colin, and my dear. Uh, <laughs> oh, poor Richard. But poor Colin and his embarrassment. <laughs> I might lift you up and put you in the canal. Yeah, Rich is my lovely, lovely husband, and <laughs> and we've been married seven years now. We, seven whole years it seems like longer. We celebrated our seventh wedding anniversary the other day, and um, <laughs> and uh, we didn't do anything <laughs> for the first time in our anniversary. We did not do anything. We didn't go for a meal. Um, I cooked at home. I had so we had some lovely, lovely, healthy salmon, didn't we, Richard? We had some lovely, lovely, healthy salmon. Yeah. Uh, with some lovely green veg, and it was lovely. It was beautiful. So we should have gone. To I was very, ball. very happy uh, with what I cooked. It was very, very healthy. So we was very, very happy. Um, I, I cooked some um, lovely, lovely uh, fresh salmon fish um, and some lovely broccoli and what else did we have with it? Lovely broccoli and um, was it peas? 
lovely broccoli and some green beans and with then, the, uh, the sal a, salmon. A roll, as you call it. A, a berm cake. Berm cake. <laughs> a berm cake, yes. Berm cake. <laughs> yeah, it was lovely. Berm Honestly, cake. it was really, really nice. And, and Richard actually said, what sort of salmon is this? Because um, it, it's quite, you know, hot. And I said, well, looking at the packet, it was just, um, it said hot salmon on it. I'm from um, England. Alpha and Amiga one. I am from England. Well, we are as a unit. We are in England. When did we have this? Ah, are you? Are you're trying to guess when our anniversary was. Order from McDonald's. Well. <laughs> Uh, I, we do love McDonald's, but we've not had it for a long, long time. I have. It's in the United States of America. The fries aren't as nice as they used to be, so we don't go down there as often. We've not been for a long time, though. The fries were a bit... Uh... Naff. They are a bit naff, the, the fries, especially where we live. A bit moist. Yeah, a bit. Mm. Crunchy. They're not. They're not crunchy and fresh like they should be. Hi, everybody. Yes, he is very, very much so, aren't you? What? My hubster. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's my hubster. Hi. We live in England. Honey, have you had the bag yet? Have I had the bag? No, it's still not come, which is really annoying. And I, I, sorry, I have to go and see to Richard's eggs. I won't be a sec, everybody. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. We've recently changed um, internet. Um, um, to, we've got to return the, the original router. And we're meant to be being sent a box stroke bag uh, so that can, we, we can send it back with no cost to us. And that's what we're hoping to do, but they haven't sent it to us, so we're waiting and waiting. And they've charged us £57 because we haven't sent it back. So we rang them up and said, can you put that? £57 pounds back in our accounts. The reason why we haven't sent the bag is you haven't sent the bloody bag in our heads. Here you go, honey pot. Your eggs. Oh, yeah. Sammy will be jealous. Sammy will be after them. <laughs> Sammy likes an egg. Mm. <laughs> Zion, hi. Hi, pop and budgies. <laughs> oh, you, you like his spirit? Is it Richard's spirit? Oh, I missed everybody. What have I missed? All oh, right. Ah, yes, I do remember. Oh, excuse me. So he's having some lovely, lovely boiled eggs courtesy of me and what just fell? Or is there a ghost in the room? <laughs> what just fell? 
it's Richard's rubber stick. Annoying. When something goes wrong, when something goes wrong, I just say annoying like that. Won't I? <laughs> I go annoying. <laughs> no. And say, look at me. No, I don't. As in you. Look at me as in you. Do you mean? Yeah. Do annoying. you mean? Is that what you mean? Annoying, Richard. Annoying. Coffee. I'm having a cup of coffee. It warms my day. Although this coffee is going too cold to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really annoying. Annoying. <laughs> if I see a message on here and it annoys me, I'll go annoying. Honey, can you do some more for you? Uh, yes. Yes. We shall go for a walk. We shall go for a walk and we shall go for a talk. We shall go for a walk and we shall go to for a walk. No. We shall go for a walk and have a lovely talk. Where? You had salmon the other day. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what day it was. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what day it was. What time is it here? It's uh, 10 0 8. It's 8 past 10. If anyone's got a different time, let us know. What time is it where you are? On the 19th, right. Oh. 19th. Oh, that's really good, Mark. But I thought you suffered in that area, though. You know, I thought if you suffered from from too much, um, you can't even have one, one glass. So I've, so I've heard anyway, because they say even one glass, if you do have a problem in that area, um, it, it's called falling back on the whip. Off the wagon. So please be careful, okay? Ooh, early for you then, Alpha and Amiga. Early for you. <laughs> I certainly did, Pinky. I certainly did. <laughs> you want to watch your uh, kiddies? I know. If you're drinking a lot. Your kidneys can uh, suffer. They can suffer, yeah. And it's the same with smoking a lot with your your um, lungs. With your lungs. Well, it is. I mean, if you can control yourself, that's. <laughs> it is well, ghost. It is, in it. <laughs> <laughs> in it <laughs> it is I suppose you could tell by our accents um, <laughs> I could pretend to be American or something but it's too much effort <laughs> I could pretend to be from Utah <laughs> no that sounded Canadian, not mm. America. I don't care. <laughs> oh, Zion, I hope not. I thought you would have gone discharged. Sharon, hello. Look at 
got a sore leg, Ari. You've got a bad, bad leg. Oh no. We're all right, Sharon. We're just, we're just plodding on. We're just plodding on. <laughs> I mean, Iris from um, Canada, Richard. What? Iris from Can Canada. Really? Yeah. Is anyone from Utah? Never seen anyone from Utah yet. No, never seen anyone from Utah. But Utah's um, quite a vast country and um, there's a lot of religion there Is in there? U Utah. So, um, I mean, I don't know how big Utah is. It, it it's huge, I think. Yeah, you you from you're from America, but live in Canada, Ari. Yes, the weather's wonderful. Uh, well, it's getting better. It was really bad before. I must admit, um, it wasn't good whatsoever. And you've got a broken leg, Zion. Not good. Not good at all. It is going a little bit better here. The sun's trying to come out with what I can see. So that's the main thing, isn't it? Why is it in, in um, films where they have a, a, an asteroid coming towards there? Oh, yeah. They always compare it to how many times the, how many how many times bigger it is than than Texas. It's always Texas compared. Yeah, but America's massive. I know America's that. a massive, massive country. I know Texas is massive. Like our little our little country, the United Kingdom, is tiny on the map compared to some countries. Yeah, but for a little tiny country, well, we've got the fifth biggest economy in the world. We did. I don't think we do now. Oh, well. We, during the uh, COVID, we overtook uh, India. We did, but we don't. India as fifth uh, biggest economy. Well, I don't world. know whether it's that now. <laughs> Listen, I'm getting all political. <laughs> political it's financial yeah uk is just a pimple in size to the usa it, it, it's true that it's true you and and unfortunately i've not got my globe anymore to show you i'd usually point where the uk is and i'd usually point to where the usa is and and you, it, it would be like that be like that it's a bit like our sun our sun compared to the earth because the sun's massive and the earth's just tiny, tiny in our little solar system. But the, uh, the fact that we're a little island is part of the reason why we've never been invaded successfully. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I take it you want the blanket on. Well, Do you want the blanket it's on? It's a bit cold, isn't it? So, yes, he wants the blanket on. Where's the plug? I don't know. Where's the plug? Where's the plug? Oh, thank you, honey. You're plugging me in. You're plugging me in. Oh, what's this about? Alright, I'll get the thing for Put you. Put me on nine. Put you on nine. Yeah. That's the wrong buttons. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Woohoo! I thought you said nine's too hot though. Yes, it might be, but at the moment I'm freezing. So it needs to be quickly warm though. 
Yeah. Oh, Houston, Texas. I'd love to go to Texas. I want to go everywhere. I want to go everywhere. Never heard of that name, Alpha and Omega, no. Oh, it sounds lovely, that pinky. You, you should enjoy that. You should enjoy that. Oh, you've got the heating on, Mark. You're very lucky. You've never met them, Pinky. Wow. So why do you keep in contact? Because it's quite a distance, isn't it? Do you write? Do you do you write to them or do you have like or is that old fashioned it's a bit old fashioned writing letters, isn't it now? To people. But um I bet it's a nice a nice way to keep in touch with people though. Oh, Son's been doing surname family tree. Oh. It's hot in your country, Zion. I mean, which do you prefer to, for it to be, Richard? Do you prefer it to be hot or cold? Because that, that's in Africa, isn't it, Zion? Um, where you are. And uh, <laughs> I bet it's a lot, lot hotter than, than, than here. The temperature here, I can tell you. It's 14 degrees. It's a bit colder than to usual, to I've be honest. I've been to a lot of hot countries, baby. I've been to, I've been to cold countries. Ooh. I've been to Norway. And Norway goes around, around the top of Europe. And actually part of Europe. Norway is in the Arctic Circle and they have a they have an island just off Norway which has an awful lot of polar bears on it. Uh, he's got a phobia of polar bears haven't you? Yes. Even though they are cute sir. Even though when I met you, <laughs> even polar though bears you are had cute. A, a blanket with polar bears on it, I still used it. <laughs> M190, Rich prefers not to be on the live, it looks like. <laughs> Well, old fashioned is good. Me? I do mind me on the live, but I just haven't got much to say. Oh, well, you've just been saying about polar bears, you, you're being afraid of polar bears. Yeah. Well, polar bears are cute. Yeah. And let me have some of that blanket. <laughs> I've also been to. Uh, let me have it. Hot places. <laughs> Ibiza, Tenerife. Gran Canaria. Yeah, where's the other place? Uh, I haven't been to Lanzarote. Spain. Hello, it's churchy, you all. <laughs> wow. Is that in Charlotte Church? Oh! Spain was hot. <laughs> Tunisia was hot. Oh, we're comparing animals now. Oh, Zion, your dog died. Oh, I mean, dogs are lovely. Dogs are lovely, but they're a big responsibility. And dogs are expensive too. I mean, we've got our little budgery guy. I know Richard preferred, would prefer to have a dog, um, but dogs are really expensive. Expensive. I took the phobia of flapping, so having a oh, bed right. in the same oh, room wonderful. as me, and also having a having a very thin, thin-skinned head after my uh, 
my uh, radiotherapy. Radiotherapy means that the budgie lands on my head, it hurts a lot. Oh, pinky. And I could probably stick it little or a little uh, uh, feet past the skin and into my brain. I know. Um, if if Sammy lands on Richard's head, uh, with his head being so so sensitive, it really really hurts his head. Although she has she has landed on my my head too, and it does really really hurt. It 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 does. Prickle to some extent, it really is. Yes, well, imagine you're bald and got no skin. Four hundred dollars to update all his shorts. Yeah, that that's the thing. Oh, I'm sorry, you're sad, Diane. I really, really am. Um, is it because everyone's talking about animals? Um. I mean, I've had dogs that's died as well, and I was absolutely heartbroken. I quite, I cried for a week. I like a hedgehog. Honestly, I cried for a week when I lost my uh, dog. Um, it was so so sad. Oh, Claire. Oh, hi, Claire, and enjoy your time with your friend. Thanks for saying hello. <laughs> I'm like a duck. Oh, to get mod, it's not 50 subscribers. Oh, what is it then, Zayan? Is it 100? I can't quite remember. I'm so sorry. Oh, I don't know then. Yay. <laughs> I can see that. Although Claire's not staying because she's got a friend coming over. <laughs> You've only got three subs. <laughs> oh, well. Only too well. It, it's awful when you get visitors because you're panicking, thinking, oh, have I got everything okay? I mean, that's it when you've got a, a budgie rigger and they're always dropping the feathers. <laughs> oh, I'm waiting for, for the post as well, Sharon. Are in the same boat because I have. I'm waiting for this thing so I can send the old route back to uh, Sky. So you can get it, maybe. Get what Zion? What have I missed? I, it's hard to imagine Alpha and Omega, it really, really is. 50 years from now, um, I can only imagine because we'll probably not be here. Yeah, we're all waiting for the postman, that's for sure. <laughs> You're scrolling too much, Rog, Rogaleo Lagman, hi. You're scrolling too much, well, I'm glad you've landed. We're waiting for the postman. We're waiting for the postman. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Hey, Mr. Postman, we're waiting for you. Zion, you want to be a moderator? Oh, you have cut her everywhere. Oh, not good. Not good. Uh, and dogs can molt too. And you get hers everywhere, just the same. 
Yeah, oh. but you can get hoovers for hairs, can't you? <laughs> yeah, you can get hoovers. Um, I mean, the dog we had, Richard, our Thai, he molted like Billy or... I mean, mum had a special dog comb to get all his hers, you know, and and it was taking forever. You could do it all day and things would still come off. Mm. <laughs> Guinea, Guinea pig her. <laughs> Brims, Hi. Oh, that's a cute picture of an owl. An owl. <laughs> I hate waiting for the post when you're expecting something, though. I hate, I hate it. Yeah, both our, both our parents are still alive. Yes. That's it, Sharon. I can. Happy birthday, Mike. Mike Hunt. Paulino Ben Dixon. Baby. I think my name's a joke. Mike Hunt. Ah, oh, nice one, Paulino Ben Dixon. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> Nice one. Very funny. You okay, Ari? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry your mother passed away. <laughs> it is. It is just laugh. It's Richard who cottoned on. It must be too early for me. <laughs> Good one, that, that Paulino. <laughs> it was a crafty one. It, it, it really, really was. I didn't have time to think about it. Oh, there you go, Sharon. A bit of advice for you there from Brims. <laughs> Can't me by surprise that. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Uh, infinity, oh, infinity and beyond. Although that's not your name, infinity M35. Oh, and Sabi's joining in. Can you hear her? She's going. <laughs> Oh, Pinky's birthday is every day. That's what Pinky's birthday is. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> How rude. How rude. So what star signs are everybody? Does everybody like star signs? I can tell you mine's Aries. 
Richards is Virgo. Oh, do you want to see her, Sammy? Sammy, my budgie. Sammy, Sammy. Sammy's my little budgie. Poops every four minutes. <laughs> oh, Capricorn, Ari, same as my mum. My oh, yeah, Sharon. It was, to, it was to die for. Zion's Virgo. Pink is Aquarius. Uh, Sharon, like me, uh, Aries. Infinite, I'm a Libra. Lovely. Michelle, a Sagittarius. Well, I know my best match usually is a Leo. My best match. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a are you a Pisces or a Leo Mag? You can't be both. <laughs> oh your hubs, husband's a Leo. Well, it's well known that Vegas make excellent lovers. Oh, is that true? <laughs> that's what uh, that's what a fat guy on British TV said. Oh. You'd agree with that as well, wouldn't you? I would, yes. I would. So Max a Leo too. Mm. <laughs> I used to be very much into the star signs. I used to love reading about star signs. I I I knew a girl who used to write all the star <laughs> sign things out, and she said to big big load of cobblers, big load of co yeah, a lot of people don't believe in the star signs. That well, she didn't believe in it because she was part of her job was writing them, and she just had to write complete make things up. Well, how about this one? Right, you're yeah, a Virgo, and apparently Aries and Vir Virgos don't get on. They shouldn't get on. Well, I don't, I don't, I've never asked anyone this star sign, so I don't really know any Aries. But I'm one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> See? I've got two rubbish signs. I think it's just me. It's completely <laughs> Well, the Virgo lovers thing, you know. I know, bless Mark, he's trying to uh, make everybody happy. <laughs> oh, what a lovely message. But we're not American. <laughs> but thank you, Gayan Carlo. And you have a good day too. And we love Italy, us, don't we, Richard? We love Italy and we love Italian food. We do. Arriva Dirty. or ciao, ciao. Arriva <laughs> We absolutely love Italy. It's a fantastic, wonderful country. Oh, we love it. Wonderful food. Hello, Rick Knight. Which state? We're not American. We're not American. Guy and Carlo, we're not American. We're in England. We're English.
You're in London, Rick. Oh, lovely. London. London, the busy capital of England. Oh, you there go with your something. <laughs> I know um, Richard's a very avid Arsenal supporter. Do you support Arsenal, Rick? And you're from Oxford, Charlotte. Hello. It's all right. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, it's the first time we've ever been mistaken for Americans. First time ever. I know, isn't that lovely? <laughs> it's okay, honestly. You do support Arsenal? Rick Knight supports Arsenal. Mm. <laughs> I don't support anybody. <laughs> I do not support anybody. Well, so. That's just sad, isn't it? Yeah, but how can I support Arsenal when my dad supports Manchester United and then your dad supports Liverpool? It, we're quite a mixture. What's it got to do with my dad? <laughs> I know, what's it got to do with your dad? <laughs> my my family are dense, that's why they support Liverpool. There's only him who supports Arsenal. <laughs> All his family supports Liverpool, or about that. You can't get a more varied mix there. <laughs> I'm there, I'm I there. do, Pinky, I support the posse. The posses. I, the posse. The posse, yes. The, 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 the boss. Oh, I am. <laughs> I'm the grey back. <laughs> it is true diversity, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, sweetie, hi. You can't pass it this year, me and me, Dad, because uh, they put the gun on for the Champions League this year. No. But I'm I'm really looking forward to my um, lovely. I'm going to pretend I'm in Italy later, because we're having lovely spaghetti bolognese, spaghetti bolognese, and some lovely garlic bread as well. I'm so excited! I'm so excited. I don't about the dress. Oh, take care, Rick. Right. Have a good day. Angelina, the girl from the pizzeria. <laughs> oh, mama. Oh, ma, oh, ma, oh, mama. I apologize. <laughs> She's sweet as ole. She's sweet as ole. And what does that mean in French? Eh. Uh, I am sorry. There you go, he's a master at French. There you go. There's brimoire means undress me. Bon, bonjour. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, madame. Never been to France yet. Never been to France. Never been, never seen the Eiffel Tower. We know people who have been, though. She twaffle. I have three brothers, unfortunately. And what's to... Sammy doing? What's Sammy doing? What's Sammy doing? Sammy looks like a big... <sighs> 
a big weird shaped ball. To me, it's just a, a weird shaped ball. Big fizzy, fizzy uh, fuzzy shaped ball. Oh, you see the F Eiffel Tower three times. Oh, thank you, Nishan. Oh, you're part French. Oh, Ari. J'habite à l'édit, c'est un petit ville dans le nord-ouest de l'Angleterre. C'est un rue jeune industriel, mais il a beaucoup de chômage. Okay. <laughs> We're from England, the chant. Oh, on your dad's side? Hmm? Would you recommend going to uh, France, Ari? Never been. Never been to France ever. Uh, we know someone who was um, <laughs> uh, had a bad experience in France, sadly. Paris is beautiful. I believe it is. I believe it is. But someone had a bad experience, we know, in, in I Paris. Know that, uh... Napoleon Bonaparte wasn't French. He was he was Corsican, and his original name was Napoleon uh, Napoleon, not Napoleon. But he wanted to join the French army because he had more chance of of um, being promoted. So he changed his name to Napoleon. Um, well, there was a few times, Zari, they were on a on the um, underground train and um, they got uh, approached by some, some people who wouldn't let them get off the train without giving them any money. Who tried to do that to me? No, I don't. They shan't. They've been picking a window. <laughs> well, um, all them years ago, when I've... Um, when I went to school and I was learning French, I wanted to keep learning it, but I had to have a choice between French or German, and I chose German. Oh, hello, Nikolai. Do you like the budgie? I'll put her back on if, if you all like seeing her, Sammy. She's having a good scratch there. She's having a good scratch. If you push is that green thing any further though, uh, the the it'll come off the uh, the thing that it supports. I know, I love that Nikolai, that profile picture you have, so cute. And oh, the platform that she's on will will go straight down, and she'll go straight down. Probably uh, break her neck. She's not going to break her neck. <laughs> she probably, she's got quite good reactions, so she'll probably fly off it when it, when it goes, but she, you know, she might fly, get dropped quite a bit and then fly into the uh, couch rather than... <laughs> her name's Sammy, everybody. No, never been to Nepal. Is is that near? Uh, where's Nepal near? Is it? Is it near Indian? India. 
Ne- is it near India, Nepal? I've no longer got it, my globe. Oh, it's near, um, near Everest, isn't it? Mount Everest? Yeah. Is it really? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to be offensive, but with me not having a, a globe anymore, because it, it, both my globes got broken, unfortunately, and I love having a globe in the room. Um, northeast of India. Okay. Um, Mount Everest exists in Nepal. Oh, thank you for that. Asia. Okay. No, never been to Nepal. Shall I add it on my bucket list? <laughs> I've got I've got a, a bucket list that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I have a I have a <laughs> hat uh, that I bought uh, which is made from black yak. Uh, which is made by um the uh, the wives of uh, some of the... the no worries. Uh, what are they called? Uh, I'd love to, though. Pinky will laugh, get a jet out. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nishant. We shall consider it. Won't we, Nepal? We shall consider it. I don't think we'll go up... Uh... We'll probably not get up Mount Everest, but no. where's Sammy going? Where is she? Where's that bluebird going? Shepherds. Yes, we have. Um, we've been to Dubai and around the um, Gulf. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Although it weren't long ago when she went through a molt, to be honest. Where are you, Sammy? Can't see you on there. How long can Sammy live for? Hello, John. Um, Budgie regards can... I've I've heard the longest a budgie has lived for is twenty two years. Um, it can vary if they're really looked after and kept well. It could be as long as fifteen years. I've heard for some. That's my that's my uh, target to if Sammy. Yeah, I'd love uh, Hawaii. Sounds lovely. <laughs> Eight to fifteen years. Yeah, I thought so. I've already got one. One uh, budgie, Nishan. That's all you can afford. Is it because he cares, Sharon? That that's all you can afford. A night away in York. You're wishing, Pinky. Yeah, I've seen that, John. It's amazing. Disco, the incredible budget. Yeah, I have seen Disco. It's amazing. <laughs> How many words that budget can talk. Is it a budget? It's a budget, Disco, yeah. yeah. Disco's amazing. Is it a boy one? It's... This goes a boy, yeah. It, with Sammy being a girl, I have tried to teach Tammy, Sam, Sammy, sorry, uh, to talk, but um, couldn't. Um, with it being a hen, I couldn't. She she just doesn't talk. 
Sammy, say, I'm a terrible bitey budgie. Oh, you lovely, lovely bird, aren't you? You're a lovely, lovely bird. She bit me twice on purpose yesterday. You've just had a shave. <laughs> uh, Crowdy TV, are you claiming to be Jesus Christ? No. <laughs> Yeah, they're just a dream to a lot of people, uh, Sharon, e even to me. <laughs> this goes to Chatter. York's lovely though, Sharon, it really, really is. You're just poor. Oh, Sharon. <laughs> you dream you're on live stream. How many subscriptions has uh, this group got? <gasps> Probably millions. Millions. Probably millions. Yes. It is right now 10.52 in the morning, Nishant. Charlotte, um, Sheffield or Manchester? <laughs> Mark's Manchester. Oh, Nazi Buff, nice husband. Oh, thank you. Funny grapes, hi. <laughs> Your dream lives going go on all night. <laughs> oh, bless you, Sharon. Can you imagine if it did? <laughs> We'd have to order loads of pizzas. <laughs> Blazer Blake, hi. We have to get the uh, Lucas in. Can you imagine doing a twenty-four hour session though? We'd have to get loads of takeaways. That would be a. <laughs> that would be. Um, something, wouldn't it be a 24-hour stream? Can you imagine? That would be something. A marathon stream, yeah. I am. I am very happy, thank you. Although I'm not very happy at the same time, though, funny. I try to be happy all the time, but... Um... Oh, thank you. All the time! <laughs> oh, Sharon, bless you. Oh, Sharon has a dream that we are, we're on live all the time. Richard. Imagine us being live all, all the time. I could, I could fit a camera into my head. <laughs> it's cold, this shan't, the weather here. It's not great. It's, it's, it's cold. Oh, thank you, Fonna. Um, as you can see, um, I have got a cross now around my neck. Um... Uh, what my mum actually bought me um, not long ago. So I am hoping that something's watching all for us. I really, really am. No, we're not from Surrey. Sharon. <laughs> we can laugh, can't we? <laughs> I've never seen that, the Truman Show. 
I just didn't understand the Truman Show whatsoever. I, said, I started watching it and I thought, what is this film? Yeah, it probably is by me. It's this pink. Well, I actually suffer from um, two skin conditions, Nishant. <laughs> you never know. Oh, it's very hot there in Italy. Oh, thank you, Funny. Uh, I really, really hope so. I really, because we do go through some bad times, Richard and I. We really, really do. Um, I like to think that think things will get better. I really do. I'm farting a shant. All right, is that what it's about? Are in the Truman Show? Uh, I, I didn't know you. You like you like that film, don't you? The Truman Show. We, we started watching it once, and I got bored. I yeah, it's about it. uh, it's being filmed all the time because it's it's a show, and he was born into it, and uh, he doesn't. He, they put him on a, an island. And they drown his dad so he doesn't like water, so he won't try and leave the island. But then he falls in love with this this woman who goes in and tells him that he's uh, he's uh, he's uh, he's uh, part of a show. And uh, then uh, all the. Um, People who run the show come in and grab her and take her away from her. And, uh... Oh, you too, funny. Thank you for coming on. And it's been lovely talking to you. Have a lovely day, funny. No, not been to the dermatologist since, uh, Sharon. Um... I'm waiting for another appointment, though. <laughs> you see a pineapple or pickles and think of me. <laughs> I know, I love my pickles and pineapple. I do. I've got one to cut up, actually. A pineapple. Okay. No, a pineapple, not a pickle. <laughs> I don't like that either. Hello, Yeti Sultia. Hello. I'm actually, I actually need to powder my nose, everybody. <laughs> I'd like to have a wrestle with a yeti. That's my dream. Don't know big about Bigfoot. No no not yet in a big foot at the same time anyway.
Oh, Sammy, my little budgie. Oh, see me. Do do. <laughs> Be happy you have a sad look. Well, someone thought that Richard was my father before and not my husband. So he's probably still sulking after that. <laughs> no, it's just my, 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 when I, when, I, when I relax my face, I've always had this people coming past me and going, cheer up at me never gonna happen. Because I've got a miserable face when I relax my face. <laughs> it's just my normal face. <laughs> It's just his face. Look at that face. I mean, look at that face. <laughs> I look like I've just lost the key to my, my, my uh, Ferrari. Oh. But it's just my normal face. I'm not, I'm not miserable. Don't look so sad. I, say, oh, I know mm, it's over. Yes. <laughs> Barber Richard. <laughs> when am I ending the stream? Ari, if you need to leave, it's okay if you need to leave. I, I don't know when we're ending the stream. We're having too much fun. <laughs> you have a miserable, normal face too, Michelle. <laughs> I'm not smiling because Aria left. <laughs> See, he's smiling now. He's smiling. Oh, Ari, your phone's dying. Don't worry. Hi. Hey. I have a lovely, happy, smiley face. Thank you, Sharon. Um, I do try to be... Uh, I'm smiling, I'm smiling with you, I'm laughing, <laughs> that's all for you, because of you, I'm smiling and happy and it's all because of you, yes let's keep smiling every day through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm miserable because I've got no hair, I've got a big nose, and I've got a lot of hair, a horrible beard. You've got a lot of hair, Richard, and, and it probably irritates my face to death. It well, probably does. I could get the hair on my chest, <laughs> and there is a lot of it, and have it transplanted to my head. But I think it's quite expensive. I like to think that we're, we have a good time on here. I mean, you know. I mean, somebody asking me, do I think I'm Jesus? Well, I know I'm not Jesus. Yeah, I know I'm not, but... She's not the next Messiah. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. Da, 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 da. If you just smile. Oh, you're back, funny. Was you uh, checking other channels out, funny? Uh, we was, we've never left, funny. We've always been here. Beards are so scratch. They can be. I mean, when Richard's gets really, really long, it's like, oh no, I'm nearly suffocating. Look at Father Christmas. <laughs> I'm starting to get white hairs. Yeah, you are. You are actually. Yeah. Father Christmas. Almost fifty. No, you're not fifty yet. Five years or fifty. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> five years off 50. <laughs> well, you're always welcome, funny, when I'm on. Expectation vlogs, hello. Oh, Sharon, bless you. I'm so glad you enjoyed the uh, live streams I do. I really am. Oh, Pinky wants Mark. What's going on with Mark? What's going on with Mark? Oh, thank you. Expectation vlogs. <laughs> oh, thank you, funny. Thank you, funny. Everybody's welcome to watch my videos, you know. Um, I try not to offend anybody with the videos I do. Um, I did one um, about coffee the other day and somebody got offended because I sang um, um, one of Bob Marley's hits with a twist. That don't, you know, that don't worry song. I'll not sing it, but, um, I'll not sing it, but, uh, they got a little bit offended because I, I was singing a song by Bob Marley. Um, and, uh, and they said, um, because I'm not Jamaican, um, it's a sin. <laughs> Sing it out. <laughs> um that don't don't worry about a thing because having a cup of coffee is gonna be all right. <laughs> And they got a bit offended because um, expectation vlogs. I am noticing. I am. I notice everyone's comments, but it's very tiresome reading everything out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you I start the head when there's two right mm. Yeah. Your eyes start to hurt. My eyes start to hurt my glasses would keep on falling off. Aww. I couldn't find my I couldn't find my other glasses here. Well we're doing Jordan. Welcome Jordan. What we're doing? We're just talking to you at the moment. Oh, take care, Charlotte, and thank you for coming on and saying hello. Have a good day. Hey. <laughs> Bye. Well, Jordan, we've been sorting our house out to some extent because there's too much stuff in it. And there's still too much stuff in it, <laughs> to be honest. We're sorting the wires out first. Yeah, we've been sorting the wires out because it's been such a mess. You know how everything starts to build up in your house. It's just too overbearing at times. Who I've sent been in the front? Oh to gosh! My on you, uh, internet.
I didn't mean to show that, everybody. Hopefully, that doesn't show, hopefully. What? Doesn't matter. What time am I coming back on next, Jordan? I don't know. Oh, I'm glad, Pinky. Thank you. Oh, take care, Jordan, and thank you for saying hello. Bye. Thank you for saying hello. Yeah, yeah, spring cleaning. Yes, that's for sure. Funny. <laughs> You're back with us again. <laughs> You're back with us again, Fernie. And you're going too, Michelle. Six PM. Jordan, I thought you were going. Well, it didn't take long, Jordan. <laughs> it didn't take long. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know, Michelle, I didn't know you were going. <laughs> well, I didn't see that you were going anywhere. I'm going to have to start thinking about what I'm going to have for lunch, to be honest, everybody, because I've, I've not got any ideas whatsoever. Um, I, I don't, I mean, I love a sandwich, I do, and I'm like, she, she said try to cut down on the carbs. I'm already having pasta today. So I'm sort of like, Unsure about what I'm going to eat for my lunch. Jordan, Christmas isn't a long time. It's a long, long time away, Jordan. Um, no idea what we're doing. Probably, it'll probably be the usual thing. Malik, hi. It'll probably be the usual thing what we do every year, Jordan. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> what do you mean I got you? Indian AM, hi. He's busted. <laughs> busted. Bust is that group. Bu busted is, is a group, isn't it? Oh, was that the post? Was that the post? Oh, oh it sounded heavy. I hope it's what I think it is. No. Ring them up again. I'll have to ring them next week. Oh my god, can I ring them? No, because I want to enjoy my weekend. Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to stand on your foot. It's alright, I didn't mean to. I did not mean to stand on your foot if I did. I didn't feel it, honey. 
Yeah, you should stamp on me for like. Uh, I, don't, I don't mean to, whoever does. Like, uh, like Sally. Oh, remember when she did that though? She was, I'm sure she was a baby. Hmm. I'll have to say, um, Jordan, okay. Another health for review. Can you block people, Pinky and Ari, just out of interest? Oh, thank you, funny. Yeah, well... There's always one that has, has to spoil the fun, doesn't it? Always one. Funny, we've, we've, we've been doing lives for a long time. <coughs> Funny. And I do enjoy the lives. Hi, Carrie um, BFF. There we go. I I got the power. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. I am smiling. I am smiling. I'm smiling for you. I am happy all the day through. <laughs> I am smiling. Oh, I, I, I kind of saw Sharon, but... <laughs> I 
Then your mum phoned you. <laughs> it was on about shaving, that's all, Sharon. Nothing bad. I'm good at singing. I try. Tell them what you got up there. Tell them what you got up in the What did I get? An award you got? An award? Oh, oh, with the centre. Yeah. With the centre, because... I sometimes do read, uh, do sing um, for the for um, the Stroke Centre. Some um, we got awarded the Queen's Award. If anyone's heard of the Queen's Award, <laughs> it's dirty blonde, funny. <laughs> My hair, it's dirty blonde. And it'll soon need washing again. Easily gets greasy, my hair. Easily gets greasy. At least you've got some hair. <laughs> At least I've guess. got some hair. Yeah, but your hair grows here, not here. That's the <laughs> problem. My hair grows everywhere. Yeah, but it doesn't... Well, it, it kind of... You get little odd little bits. On your hair. Uh, it goes grey on my back. <laughs> I'm glad to see you, Sharon, again. I'm glad to see you. Oh, she was chatting away about your daughter. Oh. My favourite animal is an elephant, and it'll always be an elephant, my favourite animal. But I can't own an elephant. What's everybody else's favourite animals? A honey badger, uh, Mark says. And Iris says a wolf. Mm -hmm. Oh, you like elephants too, Indy and Am. I had an elephant uh, use its trunk to touch my hand. It's cute. And it left a great big load of slime on my hand. It was horrible. Oh. Oh, but how lovely. You managed to touch an elephant. I've never touched an elephant. It was a painting zoo, it's more like a, uh, the way they've done it, it's more like a safari park, but a walking one. Yeah. Everything's, uh, nothing can uh, get out and hurt you, but you can go quite close to them. Mm -hmm. There's tigers and lions and all sorts. <laughs> Vampire bats. Oh, I love to touch an elephant at a zoo. I think elephants are so beautiful and it's just such a shame they get hunted so much um i think the they're, they're trying to make it so that elephants are more protected like ivory is banned in this country it's banned in in the united kingdom isn't it ivory richard because elephants and rhinos they take the I don't know if it's banned in, like... Um... They take the horns and and all that. And all it is, what's, what makes elephants tusks and, and things, um, like the rhino, uh, all it is is like her and nails from a human. That's all, all it is. Um, the horns from a rhino. They're so beautiful, these creatures, and it's just such a shame. 
It really, really is. You don't want to get into an argument with me? No, I know. But elephants are extremely dangerous as well. Or oh, I'm sorry, time. Sharon. I didn't mean about about <laughs> causing panic with you. I really... Because uh, uh, not, not everybody likes uh, what I like. I do get it. <laughs> Sharon, I'm so, so sorry. Um, but I do like spiders. Mason, hi. Oh, you've seen a badger, Pinky. Oh, you've ridden an elephant, how cute. Thank you, Ari. <laughs> oh thank you mason and richard uh someone said you're kind of hot <laughs> richard someone said you're kind of hot <laughs> kind of <laughs> hey you should be appreciative <laughs> Hi, Chavinda. <laughs> I know Richard's pulled. <laughs> Richard's pulled. <laughs> you don't you don't need to ask uh, uh, what's <laughs> Does the, sound like the, it. The uh oh, Siri it's uh not so <laughs> What is it? Alexa. Alexa, you don't need to ask Alexa anything with me around. <laughs> Feeling hot, hot, hot. Do, 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 do. Feeling yeah, hot, yeah, hot, yeah, hot, hot, yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Sammy, my little budgie. I swim like a sea otter. <laughs> All right, psych, calm down. <laughs> Saying you're gorgeous now. <laughs> Because you're gorgeous, I'd do anything for you. Because you're gorgeous, I know you get me through. <laughs> I am sorry, but I've only got one love. Oh, thank you. Not Sammy. I thought you were going to say I've got one love and it's Sammy. <laughs> uh, no. Yes, funny. I've got two and Richard's got three. Three what? Siblings. Yes, I've got three. He's got three, I've got two. They're all greedy like me. <laughs> yes, he's, he's grown up with a family of... Uh, I mean, his poor mum had four sons and a husband at home. So she was the only female. Can you imagine that? Oh, thank you, Sharon. Not on national TV. 
<laughs> Mark, not on national TV. <laughs> I know, Pinky, how, how do you cope with that? 14 nieces and nephews. Pinky's got 14 nieces and nephews. Got a big family, you, Pinky. If you go to a buffet, how do you enjoy getting food with 14 people hanging around? <laughs> Taking all the food. You've got to make sure you're the biggest and strongest one. That's what I do. And then learn how to use your elbows against them when the the buffet. <laughs> I mean, I've got one niece, and Richard's got two, so that's three between us. I do get buffet stress. I mean, yeah, up, Richard suffers growing from. Growing up with three greedy brothers. Richard suffers from buffet stress. Have you ever heard such a term? It's where everyone panic. It's where he panics um, about if he's at a party or a do, and there's a buffet, and he's worried he'll get none. Oh, hello, Claire again. Well, we'll be going very soon, yeah. That's, that's uh, Mr. Jomme, hi. One sister, one brother. Mm. Eat fast or don't eat. <laughs> I know. Uh, so he gets... He gets uh, buffet stress. You've got one sister for now. Mm, nice. Um, so he gets worried he'll miss out on food altogether because he's got sort of like three brothers. Um, <laughs> Do you ever get worried? You, you know... I mean, going to a party, I mean, I suppose it's worth if you, worse if you go to like a funeral and, and you don't know how many's coming. That, that's the worst thing, isn't it, when you do put a spread on because you do worry that people won't come. But then again, you're worried that loads of people will come. So what's the right amount you get for a, a funeral party? Well, they, they call it the wake, don't they? In this country, they call it the wake. Um, the after, after thing of a funeral. You look at have a shower, Pinky. We've not got one. We've not got a shower, unfortunately. You always over buy food, Claire. <laughs> I must admit, I did my first proper shop in ages the other day, and I didn't really, it didn't really look that much, but it still cost me 40 quid. But I've got some nice meals. I did get quite a bit of meat and quite some, you know, um, really important things for my diet. Hello, Vikram Jeet Singh. Very, very well, if you're talking to me. 
You liked seeing the contents of my fridge. Well, it was an improvement from the other day, I must admit. Why do I not have PSD years? I know I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I never get round to it. What's that PC is? Do you prefer a $1 billion or a pure gold? My hands are totally out of reach for any of them, so neither. Funny. <laughs> I have to say neither they're funny. What are you surprised at? Well, I do when I can, when it doesn't get so overrun. Well, I hope so, Sharon. I really, really am. Um, that I can make healthier dinners now um, with not as much bread. <laughs> Just to let everybody know, I will sell my wife for, the, for a minimum of 12 uh, camels. Oh, you're an Indian chic man. Oh, very good. We've been talking about India and I'd love to visit your country, uh, Vic Ramjeet. Um, India looks such a fascinating, vibrant uh, country. And I'd, re I'd really love to uh, visit. <coughs> Excuse me. I do know the country Africa. We bless the rains down in Africa. Gonna take some time to do the things we never have. And that's by Toto. I bless the rain, rain and... I do know Ethiopia, that is in Africa. Why funny? Oh, you're a, you're a turban seat man. Oh, really? The musketeers. All for one and one for all. <laughs> D'Artagnan, wasn't it? D'Artagnan. Is that D'Artagnan? Was the trainee one? Pathos, Orthos, and Hermes. Yes. That's the Musketeers. Porthos. Uh, Porthos. Uh, we live in England. Funny, you love the country Ethiopia. Oh. Yeah, um, Africa, uh, I'd love to go. I'd love to go to, um, I'd love to do a safari to see the elephants. I really, really would. Even though it's it's really really dangerous, it can be really really dangerous. Um, but I, I would love to go on African safari. Yeah, Mark. <laughs> and Ari, not to forget Ari. No, I don't live in London. No. <laughs> yep 
You love my clothes. Yeah, well, this is actually my favourite jumper. I love this jumper. I've had it for about 20 years. And it's still in top nick. <laughs> top condition. Despite the efforts of uh, Sammy. I know Sammy likes crawling all over it, but I think it's because... Um, I think it's because uh, she blends in so well with the colour. Oh, your, rel your relatives lived in London, or do they still live in London, uh, Vicar and Jeet? I know, funny. And it's still in top nick, honestly. Still in top nick. Oh, it's lovely, Sharon. Oh, P, hi. It depends on the, it depends on it though, um, what, what make it is, Claire, because I've had jumpers in the past that bobble. And I bet you have as well, had jumpers that bobble, you know, well, after watching them. I used to sleep in them. Go to the gym in them, so they never last long. So weird. But I, I do love this jumper. I love a good jumper. Oh, I'm so glad, Mark, you've enjoyed the stream. Thank you, Funny. <laughs> Mind boggles. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for your support. Seriously. Thank you. What time is it now? 11.44. Is that right, though? So I'm sure it is. So I've been, how long have I been on this stream? Oh, you too, Vikram Jeet. I try, I try, Pinky, seriously. I was recommended, really. It was one of me making dinner. Ah. Ah, oh. Beverly and Richard forever. Forever is a long, long time. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really nice. It really, really is. Expect e expectation vlogs. Hello again. Depends how many blondes Thank are after me. <laughs> you heard him. Depends how many blondes will run after him. <laughs> will they catch up? Probably not. I'm quite good at jumping <laughs> down a second story building. I know. Richard's got a story about that. Um, years ago, when he was at university, he um, tried to escape from a woman. And he, he uh, broke the window and climbed through it. <laughs> to get away from a woman, a stalker. I can't expectation vlogs. Oh, thank you, Vicar of Jeet. 
Oh, take care, funny. I know Richard's finger got did get broke. Why? Because all I can say, expectation, is that was extremely sad. It really, really is. It shouldn't be happening. Um, it really shouldn't be happening. Um, so I can't give you a side um, because it's extremely sad all around. Okay. That's all I can say. So, any suggestions? What can I have for a healthy lunch? A healthy lunch? A, uh, There's one wrap for you. One wrap and some chicken on it. Chicken on a wrap you want. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Pinky, you agree. With with a little bit of a with a little with a few, with a few vegetables on it. A little bit of chicken for Richard. A little bit of chicken for Richard. A little bit of salad there for me. A little bit of salad there for me. A little bit of salad in your wrap. A little, a little bit, bit of salad for your wrap. A little bit of salad for me. But no bread, sadly, for me today. <laughs> no bread. I'm so upset that I'm not going to be having a sandwich. Yes, you will. I, I, I have for... I have to be careful though. Yes, I know, but you can stop eating big, great big, really thick bread. And it's Saturday, so you can possibly eat. A lot of pickles, yeah. <laughs> you could probably eat some bread on a Saturday, as I was, you know, junk day. <laughs> And then, and I know then, that's the problem, Claire. I want to be hungry, not having bread. I know, but I know I'm having a big dinner after. There is that. You know, crackers. Yeah, but crackers are full of. I know, and, and crackers I'll be having later as well. You can have uh, crispy crackers. I've no turkey, Sharon. Richard had all the turkey the other day. Didn't. You did? You're lying I get, get. No, I'm not. I'm not you lying. On, you kept on calling it bloody your turkey. Yeah, well, it usually is. Do you want is. some of my turkey? Hey. No. Hey, Richard Langton, yeah, look at get at any turkey. <laughs> He's looking get like any turkey because I, I love it so much. I don't even like it. Oh, thank you. Vacuum jeet. I know of our Vitas, but I've got none. Pinky. But he does. No, Rai Vitas. Rai Vitas. Rai Vitas. Mm. Yeah, oh, there is a one called um, Cracker Bread. Oh, there's Cracker low. Bread as well, but it's I've, I've not got any of that either. I've not got... Watch it's, me. Got, it's got absolutely no nutrition in it, but it's quite low in calories. I bet you I end up just having a cup of soup. Not that a cup of soup's bad. A cup of soup's actually all right, a cup of soup. No, not, not in London, no, Guyan Carlo, not in London. We're in the north. A little bit of what you fancy does you good, I know, Pinky, but I always fancy sandwiches, me. I, I make no lie of it. 
But because I'm already having pasta today, I thought I'll just have one complex curb, curb today. Yeah, that's a new bread then today. So no bread for me today. And Jordan's back. I think that my Vita is a good idea. <laughs> Lady, you have a tired and a bit sad eyes apart. What for lunch? <laughs> I know I'm sad. I'm sad because I have to watch what I eat now, um, Guy and Carlo. So um, I'm I'm just thinking about what to have. Like some people have suggested a salad. I mean, I've, oh yeah, I've got some avocados. I've got some avocados. I'm allowed an avocado. An avocado salad. I love an avocado salad. It's got a bit of fat in Yeah, but it's a healthy fat. As long as you don't have avocados every day, you're fine. I love an avocado. I forgot. I've got... Yeah, they are fat named Pinky, but it's like a healthy fat. <laughs> if that makes sense. And I love them on a salad. Avocados. Oh, Rose Kelly. Hi. Yeah, good fats as long as you don't have too many in tip. As long as they're white yeah. as well, because they're not white, it's just horrible. It's really soft. Chiran Jeevi Kumar, hi. Where am I from? <laughs> I'm from England. We are from England. We are from England. England. We're... You're from India. I was only oh. saying before I'd love to go to India. I'd love to go to India, honestly. Um, it looks such a fascinating country, it really does. I know, I believe, Claire, that children do eat you out of house and home. <laughs> I do believe that. Yeah. Oh, that sounds lovely. Um... Guy and Carlo, but we're having spaghetti bolognese tonight. All my brothers and me so that, well, still do love chocolate. And my mum loves chocolate as well. And she used to buy chocolate for herself and hide it in the Rice Krispies book. I'd love to go to India one day and, and uh, hopefully one day I'll get there. Hopefully. But we found that out quite early on and then we started stealing their, uh, their chocolate. Rice Krispies, uh, yeah, cereal. Mm -hmm. we used to, uh, when that ran out, she put all the chocolate in there and hide it. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, brothers, my sons. Oh, you what your daughter's watching what she eats, Sharon. Because she wants to look nice for her prom. Oh, you too. It's nice to see you too. Every time I see the the word India, it makes me want to go more. <laughs> it really, really does. I know India is a long, long way from here. It's a long, long way, isn't it, Richard? How long is India away from here? Long way. It's about 17 hours, isn't it? 
on a play. For the first I'll pass you uh, to play this. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Indian people, but they seem like good people. They really do, Pinky. Simply the best. Do, 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 do. Better than all the rest. Do, do. Better than anyone. Do, do. Anyone I've ever met. What time is it in India? <sighs> I've no idea what time it is in India. Would you like to be accommodating and tell us what time it is in India? Chiranji Jeevi Kuma. You've got no idea what it is in England. You do. That's wrong. It's 11.57. No. Well, what time is it then? It's not that time. 11.58 now. 4.28pm it is in India right now. Thank you. Are oh, you too funny? Family, family, hi. Not seen you for a long time. Oh, only three hours. I thought it would be more than that. Because it was four hours when we went to uh, Dubai. Your 11th D-Day is in five. Right, family, family. No, don't have those. Funny. I'm a Kura, um, uh, Kuma. Am I all right just calling you Kuma? You remember the <laughs> kick the can? £350 for a dress, Sharon. Wow. Um, I know I've seen my um, niece's uh, prom dress, which is looks so beautiful. Um, I wouldn't like to know what price it was, though. It's a lovely, lovely royal blue dress. Um, and, and she does look... Absolutely lovely in it. The year now, I mean, when I was at school, it it weren't that bad. All all I wore was a a long black um, a long black dress. It's different now, though. Every, everything's all top notch. Right, everybody, it's been a lovely, lovely stream, but I think I'm going to go and sort lunch out. Okay, it's been lovely talking to you all, it really has. This has been such a lovely, lovely stream. And, um, and I hope you've enjoyed it too.
Oh, thanks for the advice. Um, hopefully I'll get there one day. I really, really do. So I'll take care, everybody, and it's good to see you all. It really, really is. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Take care, everybody, and see you all again soon. Okay. Bye, everybody.